everyone, it's Tyler the Antenna Man, and today I'm going to review the low VHF version of the Televis That Boss Long Range Mix. Unlike most antenna companies that seem to reuse the same antenna designs over and over again, Televis has actually redesigned this antenna for TV frequencies in the United States. I'll explain everything they did a bit later in this video. With a more compact design compared to other large antennas out there, will it still be able to pack a punch? Stay tuned to find out. If you're a cord cutter or use an antenna, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. But wait, don't only do that. Hit the bell icon so that way you actually receive a notification whenever I post a new video. Otherwise, YouTube may not tell you and you may miss some cool videos I post. For those of you unfamiliar with the brand Televis, they're actually a large antenna company based out of Spain that's been around since the 1950s. Just like other well-respected companies like Channel Master and Weingard. The company is vertically integrated, meaning that they handle everything, including the design, manufacturing, testing, quality control, and distribution of their antennas without having to rely on an outside source. So there are many highlights I want to bring up about the low VHF version of the Telvis Long Range Mix. It has a very good build quality, specific with high-grade anodized aluminum, ABS plastic, injected Xamax clamps, and stainless hardware throughout. According to Televis, the That Boss Long Range Mix is one of the highest gain antennas on the market for UHF frequencies and also provides very competitive high and low VHF gain, all in a smaller size compared to other antennas, with market leading build quality and a built in state of the art preamplifier that automatically adjusts the gain as needed and filters out 5G interference. So what makes this updated version of the Long Range Mix different from previous versions? The Triple Boom UHF section has been totally redesigned for new repack TV frequencies in the United States. Specifically, the elements are a bit larger with wider spacing. The increase in raw gain when compared to the prior version is of about 2 dB in the UHF band. Telvis also updated the size of the VHF corner reflector, increasing gain by about 3 dB. A large folded low VHF dipole and low VHF reflector have also been added onto this antenna to make it low VHF capable for TV stations that broadcast on RF channels 2 through 6. The low VHF improvement over the prior tri-band version of the Televis Long Range Mix is about 5 dB thanks to these changes. And Televis did not stop there. The built-in preamp has been totally redesigned. Not only does it filter out higher frequencies to avoid 5G interference, but it's basically two preamps in one now. VHF and UHF are regulated independently as needed instead of together, which allows it to better balance signals and improves quality, as the preamp will amplify VHF and UHF independently, only by the right amount to avoid overload. The preamp is built directly into the active element on the antenna, amplifying gain right at the source. This truly is the optimal way to do it, as signals captured by an antenna can sometimes be weak to the point they degrade quickly through coax and connections. By placing the preamp right at the dipole element, Televis antennas are able to take advantage of every fraction of dB of signal available to the preamp. A very sturdy and reliable construction is needed to be able to add the preamplifier right into the antenna, which Televis is known for. One of the features I love about the built-in preamp is the powerless pass-through. What this means is if you unplug the power inserter or if it fails down the road, you will still have reception. Most preamps on the market do not have this feature, which means you would lose all reception if it were to fail down the road. The powerless pass-through is also very handy to see if you get better reception without the preamp plugged in. In some cases, a preamp will actually make reception worse. The option to see the results of the preamp on and off without having to go up to the antenna and manually disconnect a separate preamp is really cool. So how well does this antenna work? I tested it out in the same location as a bunch of other outdoor antennas to see how it performs. If you decide to purchase this antenna, be sure to use one of my affiliate links in the pinned comment below or in the description of this video to help support my YouTube channel. 
Here are the results from the last two antennas I tested out on my YouTube channel. From left to right, you'll see the TV station, the call letters, RF channel the TV station broadcasts on, and the results of the previous two antennas I tested out on the YouTube channel. All of these TV stations are about 42 miles away with one mountain ridge between my home and the broadcast towers. The signal on KYW, which broadcasts on UHF channel 30, was about the same as the last two antennas. The signal on WCAU, which broadcasts on UHF channel 28, was a bit higher on this antenna than the last two antennas I tested out. The signal on WPHL, which broadcasts on UHF channel 17, was higher on this antenna than the last two antennas I tested out. The signal on WTXF, which broadcasts on UHF channel 31, was also higher on this antenna than the last two antennas I tested out. The signal on WHYY, which broadcasts on VHF channel 13, was actually able to be reliably picked up with this antenna compared to the last two antennas I tested out that showed significant dropouts on this channel. The antenna was also able to pick up a trace of this very weak PBS signal on RF channel 23. Most antennas were not able to lock in this channel. Now for the moment, everyone in the Philadelphia market and some of you on my YouTube channel have been waiting for. Was this antenna able to pick up the trash signal of 6ABC? The antenna actually was able to pick up the trash low VHF signal of 6ABC. This is actually the first antenna I tested out on the YouTube channel that could actually lock in this channel reliably, so it says something about the low VHF gain on this antenna. This truly is an excellent long-range outdoor antenna. Unlike most other antenna companies, Televis actually took the time and spent money redesigning their best antenna to benefit over-the-air viewers in the United States. Specifically, they added gain all across the board and made their best long-range antenna low VHF capable for areas with TV stations that broadcast on the trash low VHF band. Yes, the band is trash. It shouldn't be used, but the FCC keeps selling TV spectrum to cell phone companies, so some TV stations have nowhere else to broadcast. Okay, I got the low VHF rant out of my system. Anyway, I would highly recommend this antenna for anyone who lives in a fair to weak signal area with a low VHF channel or two. The combination of a high gain antenna design and built-in preamplifier with automatic gain control will set you up for success, unlike most other antennas on the market. Now, just as a heads up, most areas do not have low VHF TV stations that broadcast on RF channels two through six. Make sure to run a reception report on rabbitears.info to see what RF channels are in your area, as most TV stations do not broadcast in the RF channel that they show on air. On the Rabbit Ears reception report, low VHF channels are highlighted in red. If there aren't any low VHF channels in your area, I'd recommend the high VHF UHF version of the Televis Long Range Mix linked in the description of the video. While this is a sponsored review, I truly have a lot of respect for Televis. They are one of the only antenna companies innovating antennas and other over-the-air products. The other companies seem to just reuse the same antenna designs over and over again from decades ago. While these old designs will still work well for many areas, the fact remains that the UHF band has shrunk, requiring slightly larger elements. Telvis has taken this into account when redesigning this antenna. While this antenna will truly work well for most of you, it isn't necessarily the solution for everyone. If you live in an area with fair to strong signals, you might be able to get away with a slightly smaller antenna. Telvis makes several different models you can find linked in the description of my video. I also offer antenna recommendations on my website at antennamanpa.com. I run a reception report at your location, take a look at the frequency, signal strength, and even tree coverage, determine what antenna will work best for you based on my experience testing out over 100 different antenna models, and actually installing them in four TV markets. Thanks so much for watching this YouTube video. Additional thanks to everyone who supports me on Patreon or is a member of my YouTube channel. If my videos helped you cut the cord or if you just think they're cool and would like to help support them while gaining exclusive perks such as behind the scenes content, access to my videos ad free one day early, and direct contact with me, visit patreon.com forward slash antenna man or click the join button in this video and you can also click the thanks button.
If you're on Facebook, you can like my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash antenna man PA. If you're not on Facebook and would like to receive email updates whenever I post new videos, feel free to sign up to my email list. I include a link in the description of the video. Stay tuned to my YouTube channel for more Cord Cayenne's hand related videos and have an awesome day.